Okay, so this video is for those who need to change out the crankshaft positioning sensor on a uh, Dodge 1500 5.9 liters. What I have, I have a 1997. Um, I've gone through some of the YouTube videos. They show the location of it. They show you the easiest way to get to it, um, and which I did do. So what they didn't tell you is... When you get up under there to remove that crankshaft positioning sensor, this dipstick right there, transmission dipstick, goes over top of where that sensor comes off. So it's impossible to pull it off of there unless you undo the dipstick. So I suggest you do that before you lift the rig up. So you're going to take that one bolt off, takes that bracket off of there, and it makes it so this thing is able to move freely um, so you have to do that first take that off of there first um, I, I got it from this angle right down here you'll feel it um, bracket off of there and right below that bracket is that crankshaft positioning sensor but it you can't it's so hard to get to at this angle I, mean, I got a lot of space and I got some scrawny arms but to ratchet that off of there is impossible Okay, so what they did was they gave an idea of how to get to it quickly. You jack her up, take that passenger tire off, you take out the protective cover to the wheel well, which is sitting right there, and you have room here. I couldn't get my, my arm angled right for that, so if you look, control arm. You're going to follow that control and straight up behind the frame. And once you do that, this is all feel, man. You've got to feel, you'll be able to see it, but to take it off, it's a whole feel. You feel the whole thing out in order to get it. So, I'm probably not going to be able to get this. You see that shiny bracket? That's my new sensor. So all that does, that's not where it sits. It, it actually turns and lays against the block. But that's the idea of where it's at. It's sitting back there. So two bolts, you see where the eyes are. Um, what I use, now they're telling you you need an Allen wrench. I didn't use an Allen wrench. And the reason why they say this is because there's the Allen wrench. I used a half inch mini wrench, open wrench. I don't know where I put it. Nope, that's my 12. Anyways, oh, I got it up on my, my rig here. I just use a little half inch mini wrench. And that fits on there. You got room in there to, you know, twist it a little bit. And it came off pretty easily. I didn't have to yank it. The other thing they don't tell you is where the location of the harness is at on this rig. So, or this engine, you have to take the air housing off. I removed the EGR vacuum, um, and then I took my breather off, which I just have a filter breather that sits there, and then I capped it off to my air intake. So, I don't know if you can see it, but back there by where the distributor sits is where the harness is located. Right there. So you got to feel your way for it. Be careful because there's a lot of wires down there and you don't want to pinch or break any. Um, the other thing is that the aftermarket crankshaft positioning sensor only comes with a really small um, pigtail to it. And I don't think it's any bigger than 10 to 12 inches. So to get it to run properly without crimping the wires to the main you have to follow the old one so what I've done is I've left it attached as one guy suggested in the video you leave it attached you take off the old sensor first that way it's dangling you know where the location is you don't lose the the harness or the trail on where that pigtail goes so I kind of got a little more clever because you have to run up behind that distributor 
and all the wires. So what I've done is on that pigtail at the end where the connector is, I don't know if you can see me wiggling that new one, but um, I've put three plastic zip ties on there so I don't lose that, that pigtail and then I can um, snake it through the wires and follow the old pigtail to the harness. So that's how I've done it. Um, I'm ready to actually disconnect the old one and put in the new one and then crank her back down and then put everything back together. So what's needed? You need to jack your, your rig up. Well, first you need to take off that um, bolt to the um, transmission dipstick. That's the first thing you need to do. Take that off of there, have that set aside jack your rig up take this passenger tire off take that inside um, wheel well protector off give yourself some space to get up underneath there make sure you are stable I got two three ton stands up underneath there with a 12 ton bottle bottleneck jack um, I'm still leery about working on it and I'm working on ground so I put some um, press board underneath to stabilize that so once you get that all up You'll be able to feel where, if you trace down that um, transmission dipstick, you'll be able to feel where that crankshaft positioning sensor is. And I can actually see it with uh, light up on side there, um, that straight bar. And then, so you take that old one out, two bolts at a half inch mini wrench, and then um, leave that attached to its harness. I put the new one in with zip ties attached to it and then I just kind of wrangled her up through here through the back side you know, dropped it down wrangled the pigtail up through the back side with those zip ties and was able to trace the same path as that old harness so um, once that's done uh, just go backwards from there alright good luck